Why did I come here? Why did I come here? Oh, I came here for the wallet. That's what I did. I'm, I'm like running all over the place though. Mal has red hair. I mean, you're right. She, she's definitely a redhead, if anything. Um, but like Zelda has green eyebrows. Or like lime green eyebrows. And they're technically blonde. But I did not know that for a long time. Also, this house was the scariest house in the entire world. I swear to you. This was the freakiest thing in my entire planet. I had no idea. You look like this because of the spider's curse. But since you've destroyed 11 spiders with the curse, the curse is starting to weaken. Did the kids who returned to normal give you any rewards? You should know that the only way to become very rich is to destroy as many spiders with the curse as possible. Technically, you only gotta kill 30, but there's some tricks of finding all of them. For starters, you gotta hunt them at night. And second, you gotta keep in mind that they love soft soil, which I had no idea about for the longest time because I didn't know what the soil thing meant, so it didn't make any sense. It was just crazy talk. So play close attention to surroundings and we're gonna count on you. However, go talk to the kid to the freaking right because he's got the one with the wallet that makes me have mad money on the with it. <laughs> the curse has been broken. Thank you. Here's a reward for you. Bye. Now I can put it Yeah, um. I gotta tell you, not having more than a hundred rupees in this game is, in, is exceptionally difficult. I did not realize how much, like, it was gonna be, <clears throat> like, low-key a burden. Like, dude, it's a lot. Was he in this house when years ago? Dude, I'm telling you, though, this, this house was freaking terrifying as a kid. Because, like, I literally took to fight them with my sword. And then I took to slingshot them. And then when it was blue and said so I can talk to them, I did not understand why. And then, of course, me being me as a kid that I was, I used to think that I could talk to the ones that were actually enemies. And I was like, why isn't the icon blue instead of yellow? And I had no idea. And I used to get attacked by them all the time. And it was so stupid because I was stupid. <laughs> it just was what it was. So, you know, you kind of learn with some time and, and experience over the years. But still, if, you, if I played the game for the first time, I probably would have had the same issue again. Also, I'd be too afraid to deal with it. Am I capable? I'm freaking capable. Also, we no clip with the computer thing. Okay. Um, we gotta go get the dog so we can get the heart piece and then get the third piece because that piece I know for a fact. Did I complete the game? Oh yeah. Well, I mean, the thing is, like, I didn't. Um, I wanted. To, I wanted to play this game as if it was like a first time kind of thing. So we 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 beaten this game. Gosh, man, beat this game like literally like two decades ago. It's embarrassingly bad. However, I played this game like a little too much. And my memory is like on my side sometimes. Like now. This is not the right place. <laughs> it seems strange that packs of dogs no more treats than that. Does this seem weird to you? No? Don't ask questions. They're dogs. Dogs are cute. We love dogs. We ain't no problem with dogs. Dogs are literally the answer to the things that we also end up needing. And I get you a dog unless you're allergic, like me. I will, even if I'm allergic, though, I will still get the, Oh, it's this door. Hey, wait, where's the dog? Come here. No, I need you. Don't bark. Hither. Bro, the dog is like frozen. The dog is frozen. If you don't come into this household, I think this dog knows that this is the. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Dog definitely knows that she's. He, he was. Uh, Dog was like, I don't want to go back over there. I, it's, it's too scary over there in that house. That house is scary. And I understand that. Um, because the lady who lives in that house, low-key, not going to lie to you, scary as heck. Uh, wrong place. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, the thing is, like, this game is also, like, a top... This is, like, a... This is honestly one of those games that I wish I played, like, all the time. Little Richard? I know, right? Hey, Little Richard... You know, because he's, he's little and he's rich. There you go. Food for thought. That was my interpretation of these. Oh my gosh. Richard! This is my little Richard! No, I'm not saying that. Now. Thank you, thank you. Good to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Give me the reward. I'm out of here. Keep the dog. <laughs> I want the prize. Alright. Uh, I can't open this door because the... Yes, I can. Doesn't the guy sell the stuff here? Yeah, he does. Okay. This is for the adult guy. I was like, what? Anyways, we leave. Um, yeah, no. So my memory very much served me very well um, for a lot of the basic stuff that I remember about this game. But after that, though, there's many things that I definitely have forgotten. Like, 
I don't know where a lot of heart pieces are. I don't know where a lot of skull totals are. I just found out that there was four in total in Lamont range, which was like amazing to me. So, uh, this place. Little shout out to old schools. Blues and Boogie, true. Alright, I'm gonna get one of these. Carry bugs. Oh, I know, yeah, that's kind of like the. That's like the. That's the thing that I always forgot about, was having to get bugs. Because you gotta get the bugs from the, um. Get bugs from Kakariko under that rock behind this, the, the thing, and you gotta get them there. The thing is that I know for sure that I would do that, like, low key off camera. Um. Because it's a lot. It's a lot of time to get all of those things. Uh, oh man, I have this one. I need to go in here. Do, 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 do. What's up? Hi! Welcome to the Happy Mask Shop. We deal with masks that bring happiness to everyone. Well, I mean, sure. How would you like to be a happiness salesman? I'll lend you masks, you sell the masks, and bring you the money back here. If you want to read the fine print, take a look at the sign to the right. Otherwise, it's just best for you to have yourself. Yeah, you see, so like, listen, who can read that sign? Tell me right now what it says. I'll, I'll, I'll give you $10 after, like, instantaneously. I was going to sell the mask and uh, sell the whole mask on your own, pay back the money for the mask. See, this is a lot of information that I would have never been able to read off of this text alone. Oh, sorry, I read it twice. Uh, I got the 100 ones, I, I cheated and used Hyrule Passage just to get 50. There's a Hyrule Passage glitch? I don't know what in the world that is. Okay, we got that. Oh, we can't get that. Um, we need to go to Puerto Rico. No, they got to freaking, um, Mentita. We need to go to Puerto Rico Forest. I already forgot what to do. I, I forget all the time, because literally there's 50 things you got to do in this game. Always. There's so many things to do. That, that's what I've forgotten about this game, is that you literally have to spend a lot more time than you realize doing things that, like, literally, you know what I mean? Now, I forget all the time. I forget all the time how much more stuff there is to do in between, like, dungeons. And, and I feel like, now that I think about it out loud, there's, like, so many things you can do between Deku Tree and, and, the, and the cave. Uh, the Knuckles Cave, before you, like, there's so much stuff you can do. And I feel like you gotta commit and do all those things before you actually, like, proceed to the next cave. Um, so there's that. But, oh, pity hats. Nothing. Yeah. But I, I got the hundred, uh, Skulltolas only after I realized that the bug, because I didn't even do the beans at all. Because I, I never also... The one thing I have never actually done in this game is get all 20 hearts. That I have not done. I always end up with like 17 or 16, I think it was. Um, but there's literally so... There's so many things. Secrets and bonuses in this game. I forget all of them all the time. Okay. Um, can I do anything that I'm like here? Must be run by a very specific route narrowed down. I've always used. Oh no, I have no route. I always my route is it probably narrowed from like twenty to like three. I think I have like at most three different ways that I play this game. Um, but one thing I do not do is speed run all. You know the harpies down pack? No, I definitely don't. What I do have down pat is this. Uh, is this is this whole lost woods area? This is this is nothing to me. No, I actually wrong song. I already forgot the song. I don't know why I played the double old by thinking if it was the one that mattered. That's not quite serious. Song. All right, you right. Okay. I would go down there and go get the thing, but I'm not gonna do that. Oh my gosh, I forgot. Yoo-hoo! What's up? Link, good to see you again. Listen to this, alright? After you go through the Lost Woods, you will no longer get lost when you come across the Sacred Forest Meadow. Which, low-key, scariest place ever. Scariest place ever. Uh, that's a sacred place where few people have ever walked and have never come back. What's that? 
I hear your series too. You should listen for that soon too. Do you want to hear what I said again? No. If you are courageous, you will make it through the forest just fine because you're from the forest. So if you know this place in and out of your brain, then literally something is better. Just follow your ears, that's the sound that come from the forest. You're literally from the forest, you were born here, raised here, you spend way too much time here that you should know this place. If you don't know this place, um, the people are watching and they're judging you with a hard eye, so don't mess up. This is the, it's the end of your guy. I think it's double straight. And then it's left. And then it's right. Yes, yes, yeah, I, I still know this place by memory. However, motherfucking this this little oh, scary as all heck. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. This place, this place is scary. Well, it will be in like a little bit. You know, I was okay. So I was literally just thinking about this, but I have seen that remake, and that remake is insane. Uh, it looks like unbelievable for what they've done for it. Um, yeah, the Unreal remake for this game is insane. It's you know what though? I was just thinking about this too because the thing is like um, when you go through like this game, I forget what's inside the hole up here. But I what it is. Yeah. Um, when, when I, when I, oh, frick, true, I absolutely want one of these. Yeah, when you go through the lore, and they start talking about, like, Din, Ferrari, and Nairu kind of thing, um, in this game, they are literally just, like, three, um, like, golden statues. It would be really cool for them to give us, like, a modern rendition of what they look like kind of thing. Oh my gosh, dude. I would, like, absolutely love to see it. Because, like, they all have, like, a personality. So it's actually, like, amazing. No, no, no. I, it's okay. I, I I already knew that it was, like, a thing. So. I don't want to... Uh, listen, I know you're excited. I'm excited, too. So don't worry about it. That, that's not backstage. <laughs> oh! What? Right. But, yeah. They were doing, like, a rendition about the, um... Hold on. Before I... Continue on because it's cutscene time. But yeah. But yeah, they used to um they literally tell you like a like a rendition of the of the set of the, the three spirits. So like and they're golden, so I would love to see like a modern rendition of what they look like. I think it'd be so sick. There's so many things that they can do with this that like yeah, it gets amazing, so Meadow. It's my secret place. I feel this place will be very important for both of us someday. That's what I feel. If you play the ocarina here, you can talk with the spirits in the forest. Would you like to play the ocarina with me? <laughs> Don't do it. You're right. Okay, try and follow along. Melly, I'll play. Are you ready? Oh, I thought it was left, right. Okay, that's not correct. Holy. I can see three good moves. I know I played the last part, except for the last two notes. The last two notes are always going to come for me. Great! Please don't forget this song, do you promise? Piggy. If you want to hear my voice, play the song. You can talk to me anytime. Truth. Yeah, if they did the only thing that This, that game is pretty weird. Even if it's like 3DS graphics, I love the first song. 3DS graphics of All of the Past would be insane. 3DS graphics of this game already is insane. So like, imagine. But I, I, I do feel like they will 100% remake all of the N64 versions of this game. 
and then they'll just and they'll they'll like Breath of the Wild style. You know what I mean? If they did that, that would be the most insane thing to do. Can't shoot rocks from here. That's why they get out of here. I'm chilling. The only song I think I forget to memorize by heart is Oh My Gosh, That Owl Scared the Badoodles Out of Me. Did you know that Ocarina song? I'm sorry. Yes. How'd you know? The melody seems to have some mysterious power. There may be some other mysterious songs like that. You can learn in Hyrule. Hmm. If you hold Ocarina with C, the melody thing, I suggest you play it even when a score isn't displayed like this. I mean, I would, but at the same time, though, uh, no. The melodies you have learned will be recorded in the quest house screen. You need to memorize them, but if you don't, then you have bad memory, and therefore you should because the game is nostalgic as heck, and also every song is memorable, like, with the power of memory. So, don't forget, um, truth. Okay. We got music. Now we can go to, go see what's up, to our boy. Okay. Here, yeah, I, I know... I know that I know that the um, I know that the the Nocturne of Shadow is the one that I always forget. It's the only one. Though. But you know what though? Now that I think about it out loud, though the adult songs are definitely gonna be a blur to me, except for the Bolero of Fire and the Minuet. I know the Minuet. Of, I'm, I'm trying to think out loud right now. If I can like, think of the songs, the Minuet of Fourth and now the Bolero of Fire are no. Uh, the Serenade of Water, don't tell me. Serenade of Water is easy, but I just need to remember. I gotta, I gotta play the Serenade of Water to remember the exact one. Uh, Knock in a Shadow is. Like, I, I, it's drawing a blank right now. And then. The Prelude of Light, I know. But do you want to know how bad it is? I don't actually know the name of this person. Uh, is it a Requiem? I think it's a Requiem. Pretty good. Or maybe about seven and not two. Yeah, I think it's a. I think it's a Requiem. What are you doing here? People are disgusting. My own father and mother are disgusting. You must be disgusting too. You have no eyebrows and you have no pupils in your eyes, and you literally look like you can get a sandwich. So don't talk to me about no freaking disgusting. That's cat. Alright. As we were. Um. Yeah, because I never played the spirit song. Like, there was. Because the thing is, like, when I played the spirit song, I never had to. Because. I used to, like not use the songs to travel except for the knock in the shadow because you had to use it to get to the to the temple but even still though once i got in that temple i never went back so that was that was that was just it we got everything in that we could and we were gone and it was literally it um so yeah, that's pretty much how it is um the forest temple though for me was like really difficult to find everything in there. I got it, Navi. Don't you worry, girl. Listen, I saw the rock coming. All right, here we go. I didn't get hit by it this time. I didn't get hit by it at all. Correction. Uh, I forget what is there. Most difficult temple. You know, that's a good question. I feel like okay. I gotta think about it from a perspective though of like somebody playing it for the first time kind of thing. Um. Most difficult temple, it has to either be the. I want to say it's either like shadow, spirit, or forest. Fire isn't like. Fire isn't insanely hard. It is like difficult though. Water, water is is only complicated if you make it complicated. You know what I mean? Because like even though like. The, the hardest part about the water temple is having to like navigate and do all the things with the um with the um the water rising stuff but like if you if you start in a certain kind of pattern and just take it slow then it's not terribly bad 
But I personally think that the Shadow Spirit Temples are harder than the Water Temple. Because like the thing is like people 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 you know it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's the it's the longest temple for sure. Um, Water Temple takes the longest without a doubt. Fire is like it's, it's water. I mean, fire fire is okay. Forest is just scary. <laughs> that's really that's the truth. Forest is just a scary temple. What the heck? Who are you? When I heard the song of the royal family, I expected their messenger had arrived, but you're just a little kid. Has Darunia, the big boss of Gorons, really lost so much status to be treated like this by his sword brother, the king? Now I'm really angry. Get out of my face. Or are you asking why I'm in such a bad mood right now? Ancient creatures have infested the Dongo's cavern. We've had a poor harvest of our special crop, the bomb flowers, starvation, and hunger because of the rock shortage. But this is a Goron problem. We don't need no help from no freaking stranger. Unless you play the song with my jam. You didn't think that I knew the song now, did you? Now get ready for the dance of your life now. Oh ho! This song is fire! Alright. <laughs> what a nice tune! Just like that, my depression is all gone. If only. Something just came over me. I suddenly wanted to dance like crazy. I, I listen. I feel that. I'm Darudia. I'm the big boss of the Gorons. Was there something you wanted to ask me about? What? You want the spiritual soul of fire too? Hmm. The spiritual soul of fire, also known as the Goron's Ruby, is our race's hidden treasure. But hold on. I'm not going to give it to you that easily. If you want it so badly, why don't you go destroy the monsters inside of the Dongo's Cavern and prove you're a real man? That way, everybody will be happy again. If you do it, I will give you anything you want, even the spiritual soul of fire. I have something for you though. I'm not really giving you this in return for anything. I'll take it anyways. If you wear this, even a little fellow like you can pick a bomb flower using A. I got the bracelet. Now it's time to go do a whole plethora of stuff. Speaking of, um, I need this stick. Yeah, forest music is definitely cool. Like here's the thing though, as scary as Forest Temple is, some of the best music in this entire game, real, realistically speaking, I'm so serious. Um, yeah, that's like not even like a question though. The music in Forest Temple is an absolute banger. Um, I'm also a really big fan of the music from the the Water Temple. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Nice. Although the music, the music for all the other temples though is pretty like kind of chill. You know what I mean? Um, there's, you know what the thing is though too, and you know we gotta kind of be honest with ourselves. There's no, there's no music in this temple. Oh no, I'm, I'm a freaking. There's no music in this game that's like a, like a L. You know what I mean? Like this entire soundtrack is like a perfect ten out of ten soundtrack. But there are definitely favorites for some temples and some songs over some others, and like, I can totally get that. So yeah. Like to me for sure. Um, what? All right, I got you. Priorities, girl. One thing at a time. See, I want to open up this hole because uh, it matters. Yeah, but I mean, the thing is, like, to me, the music wasn't. I mean, the music was something that I paid strong attention to when I was playing this game. But even more so was the gameplay experience of like the game that was offered to me, pretty much. So. For me, like the aesthetics of this game is, it doesn't it doesn't matter how like old these graphics are, this game never gets old. It's like literally impossible. Uh, oh no! I got comboed. Oh my gosh! Okay. I just wanted to you know. Yeah. 
game really complicated. Temples of it. Well, let me know also how you guys feel though. What are your favorite temples? My favorite temples in this game, at least for sure, um, is actually like not not th this one, but the next one. Um, the one the one in Jungle Belly. That that temple is like low key, a, like a favorite of mine because it's the one that I played that like it really brought me into like an epic moment of like playing this game. Now, but I can't do it right now. It's taking a while. It takes five or six years. Hello? Alright. Six years? That's how long it takes? I'm only 12. Uh oh. Yeah. But my favorite, yeah, my favorite dungeon. Not 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 all time favorite in this game, not for sure. But not even by a long shot. But one of my favorite. Probably the top five. Top five dungeon is uh, is inside Job of Belly. Real talk. Because it's so, it was the weirdest dungeon, and it was the first dungeon that I was like consciously aware of. That I was like, this dungeon can be hard. Oh my goodness! Yeah. So I had that revelation that like, game, game actually like broke into the challenge and that just spooked me. Um. Even the Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm more sorry that I failed that one. I wasn't gonna mute myself because of like a police siren outside, but I'm already sold that I'm just gonna pretend that I didn't hear it. Um I know for sure it's easier to do this with like bombs. Wait, isn't that a yes? Okay. Let me let me open this up for something. Yeah. Here's a for you, probably four temples that was supposed to turn it out. Oh man, no, see. Oh! Oh, it worked! It worked from there? Oh, wow. Hey, that's cheating right there. I know. I do this, of course, way before. I know, me too, honestly. Although, like, you're not. Not that you're not supposed to. It is better if you don't. Like, you should probably wait until the bomb bag comes out. That way you can, like, time it better. Because I always time this incorrectly. I always, yeah, I always time it incorrectly. That's kind of the, the, the copy of this. Yeah. But we will totally, we'll, we'll, we'll get the harpies. No, I, I timed it. Honestly, if I sit here for too long, I'm going to I got it one more time. One more time. One more time. One more time. I've got to let it go. I'm gonna put it in that pot and get that freaking trophy. It'd be amazing. Oh gosh. Never mind. It's not. You, it's hard to like. Because you gotta actually. It's really hard to do it that way though. Because I feel like you gotta time it. I know that. I know that. I know that the, the window of time to do it. But like with that pop flower, it's like. Really challenging because mm -hmm. this one is not any farther. That one's way farther. Away. It's not any closer. It's way farther. What is in? I forget what's actually inside here. I know the two link is in here. I can't find that. Which bombs? Okay. I was hoping that there was like. Forest Temple though, Forest Temple is, it's gotta be like, if, it's gotta be my favorite temple, or at least it's like top two. But I don't know which temple is above the Forest Temple in my mind. The only reason why Forest though was because like, one, it was the temple that was like the first one as an adult, and it gave me the most like, oh my gosh, this is like crazy. But also, um, I spent the, I spent the most time, I spent the most time in the Forest Temple. Truly did. Um, 
So I really got like a strong connection of playing that temple, like almost. Which is crazy to say out loud, but it's true. Mm -hmm. uh, Spirit Temple is definitely like one that I was just like amazed by, I guess. But like Spirit Temple still like low-key scares me. Forest Temple will definitely spook me for sure. Like I don't I don't I don't really know how to play this game without immediately thinking about the times I played the game as, as a kid. Um because there's moments in Spirit Temple that I absolutely hate because it was the scariest thing on the planet. Uh, Shadow Temple definitely like threw me for a loop, and I was kind of like, why in the world are we here? Um, Water Temple is like in the middle for me. And Fire Temple is just lit. No pun intended, but like, it wasn't what it was. Okay. Let's find out how this works. 